Partridge family star David Cassidy made headlines this week, admitting he has dementia. The 66-year-old revealed the diagnosis in an interview with People magazine, saying it runs in his family. The revelation comes just days after Cassidy struggled to remember lyrics to his songs at a weekend concert in California. Jason McCone is director of behavioral health at St. Francis Hospital, and he's here with some things we might all look for in our own lives or in our loved ones that could signal a problem. Good to have you, Jason. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So first of all, does catching this early generally mean a better outcome? Absolutely. As with many diseases, diagnoses, absolutely. Okay. So who is catching it these days? So who has dementia? Well, I'll tell you, dementia is a general term for loss of memory and other mental abilities that can severely uh, impact one's daily life. Okay. And so we may see these signs and symptoms in our loved ones. Um, it could happen to any of us. You know, with Mr. Cassidy, the early onset yeah. um, could even affect 40-year-olds, 50-year-olds. Wow. And we see those types of patients at St. Francis Hospital. So wow. what kinds of early signs and symptoms might we see that would signal us that we at least ought to check into it? Just difficulty remembering things. Um, now, wait a minute, I have that. <laughs> well, we all When do. is normal and when is not? <laughs> that's right, that's right. Um, recent, remembering recent conversations, remembering faces, remembering families, family members, loved ones, those that you've spent time with, just recalling those facts that, that you once knew. Mm -hmm. And I've got to tell you, Alex, that, you know, there are, there are age-related symptoms. You know, we're all aging. We're all right. getting older these mm -hmm. days. Mm -hmm. And so not just forgetting where you put your car keys and not being able to find them until later, as opposed to signs of dementia, which would be unable to retrace the steps as to where you've been and what you might be able to do. Okay. Jason, one thing I wanted to ask you, a lot of people will possibly want to know, is there a huge difference between what we know as dementia and Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's is the most common form of dementia. There are about 10 diagnosis-related diseases that dementia can be affected, Parkinson's being another. Okay. As Parkinson's uh, develops, um, some dementia signs may, may be seen. But Alzheimer's is the most common, along with the communication skills, the behavioral issues that may, may be associated auditory visual hallucinations at times and these are of course the advanced stages of the disease. Gotcha. Um, so with David Cassidy's case there has been a lot of speculation particularly on social media that perhaps his relate was related to chronic alcohol use. He's had several DUIs. He's been very open about having been in rehab and detox. Is, is there dementia that's related to substance abuse? There is, and Mary Beth, I am not a physician. I am a counselor. Right. Um, I would certainly urge those that have questions about their signs and symptoms to seek out a physician. Okay. Um, but yes, the Korsakoff syndrome is a, a type of dementia that is basically a lack of vitamins that are in the brain. Oh, okay. And so we found that sustained alcohol use and abuse over a long term mm -hmm. can be the most common factor for Korsakoff syndrome. Okay, and it could be any substance, I would assume. It could be any substance. Okay. So Jason, as a counselor, what can we do, not only as maybe the individual impacted by this, but maybe as family members to cope with this even, even more so? Alex, the, there's such a stigma about patients who have mental disorders. Uh, we need to pay attention to those around us, those that we love, be involved in their lives. Mm exercise, those things will, will certainly help a person to overcome some of those issues, but dementia, Alzheimer's type, is a disease that we're seeing more and more. And sometimes people are afraid to go with their gut and ask, but you have, actually have a phone number. People can call and just say, okay, this is happening and that's happening, should I worry? Absolutely. At St. Francis Hospital, we have our clinical assessment center, which is open 24 hours a day, seven okay. days a week. We have licensed professionals that answer the phones to set up appointments for people who may want to come in for a free evaluation. We will... Um, but they'll kind of give them a brief assessment absolutely. over the phone. That's absolutely. That's awesome. Okay, we put that on number on the screen sure. so that uh, people can catch that if you do have questions. Jason, thank you for your time. Thank you both we so much. It. Appreciate it. Thank you.